My name is Mohammed Ibrahim Pur and today I'm going to present our paper called Multi-Head Deep Metric Learning Using Global and Local Representations. This work has been accepted to WACV 2022. What is Deep Metric Learning? Deep Metric Learning tries to learn representations that similar data, uh, they're going to be close by to each other and dissimilar data are going to be far away from each other. For instance, in this set, data set, we are interested to search the data set for, for these queries and retrieve the top um, uh, similar images to the queries that we have. So deep metric learning algorithms roughly can be divided into two broad groups. Uh, the first group is the pairwise based and then the second group is the proxy based. So the pairwise based, they have really strong data to data relationship, but their convergence rate uh, they are slower, uh, they are slow, and then uh, we are in need of hard sample mining which is going to increase uh, the danger of overfitting uh, of the network. And then the proxy based models, they don't have data to data relationship, uh, and since they don't have this, this relationship, it's actually uh, converge faster than the pairwise based models here, and there is no need for the sample mining. Here um, is the contribution of our method. First, we are proposing a multi-head neural network that takes advantage of both pairwise-based and proxy-based models, meaning that it has data-to-data -data relationship as well as fast and reliable convergence. We are also utilizing a second-order attention mechanism that further enhances the local and global representations that we have. We evaluated our model and we concluded that our model a pro, uh, our model achieves state-of-the-art performance on publicly available benchmarks uh, on deep metric learning. So our method has um, looks for both local and global representations. So in local representations, we are looking at uh, the geometry in the uh, in the image, and then in the global representations, we are looking at the most abstract features usually. So uh, the combination of these two are essential in deep metric learning. Here is how we are going to extract this information. So on the earlier layers in the network, we are going to uh, extract the local representations and from the deeper layers uh, or later layers, we are going to extract the global representations. After extracting these features, we are going to apply second order attention mechanism on top of that uh, for further enhancement. And then after, whiten after whitening, we are going to concatenate them all together. So now we have both local and global representations and they both are enhanced. And then we are going to apply our loss function on top of them in order to, uh, uh, in order to uh, 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 put the similar data to be as close as possible and dissimilar data to be uh, as far away as possible. So here is the second order attention mechanism works. So given a tensor, we are going to have three projections uh, and we are going to name them uh, query, key, and value. The, re the relationship between query and key is important here. So that's why the inner product of them are computed and, uh, and a softmax function is, is applied on top of that. So here we have weighted um, here we have some weights uh, showing us the relationship between query and key. And then by, by um, uh, multiplying this attention to the third projection, we are going to get the, uh, are, um, and then adding the original tensor to that, we are going to get the second order attention uh, enhancement that we want. So as I, uh, as I mentioned, um, so our loss has two parts. It has proxy uh, part and it has proxy based part and then it has the pairwise based. In the proxy based part, as you can see, the comparison is going to be between data and proxies, but on the pairwise based, the comparison is going to be between uh, um, between similarity matrices that we have here. And the combination of these two is going to give us our loss that has the benefit of both proxy and pairwise based losses. So we evaluated our model on four different benchmarks on CARS 196, COP 200, uh, 2011. As you can see the results on different scenarios, um, our method outperforms other state of the art methods here. We also evaluated our method on SOP and in shop data set. And as you can see, uh, our method works um, uh, 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 against a state-of-the-art approach in with a large margin. We also have some qualitative results. As you can see, the similar data happens to be close by to each other and the similar data are going to be far away from each other. And here uh, is the qualitative results on the uh, in-shop data set.